Buck, what are you getting your wife for Christmas? Now, I don't know. That's a good question, Claymore. I'm sitting here thinking about that. Probably, we're well, early, but I'm thinking maybe. I always probably get her a purse or a pair of boots. You know, can't go wrong with that. But I don't know. What about you? I was thinking the same thing. You know what? I got an idea. Alligator hunt. Hello. Here we go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is 3.30 in the morning. We're heading out. We're going to go get us an alligator. I want to get an alligator. Going to get it done. Let's yes, go, boys. Sir. Grab the bourbon. And Bobby McGee. Do, 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 do. This bayou country is my home. From this place I'll never roam. I'm the leader of the clan known as the alligator man. Okay, we're, yep. So, uh, uh, you want to, while it's still a little foggy, you want to get your little boat and see if you can hear yeah. this one? Yeah, we got this. We got this little remote control boat the other day, and, and just the gators have been following them. That's hilarious. Look at this. Yo. Oh, he's got it. Right. Let's sure. ease around and see if we can spot us a big one. Okay. You're splitting hairs right now. All three of them's over 11 foot. I like him. I like him a lot. Let's catch you. He's aggressive. <laughs> Yeah, y'all hang on, hang on. Yep. All right, come get on the fighting chair. Sit down, sit down. Mr. Chuck, I'm gonna go to him because I don't want you to run out of line. You just real fast as you can when we're moving to him. You gotta keep tension on it. Feel like the, the bottom of the lake? Yeah, like it's stuck. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> <laughs> Stay with it, Joe. Come on, come on, buddy. Okay, yep. There he goes. 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 There once we, we get close enough, we'll cast another rod over him, hook him, and try to get somebody else on the rod. Okay. That sounds like the last plan of the day. Yeah. Right. Double trouble here. Oh, yeah. Hang it up in there. Okay. <clears throat> First. All right, y'all. Hey, back them off a little bit. Just a little. Oh, 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 Get it done, buddy. Woo. He said that's money. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Woo. Sweet Chuck D. Give me some. Is that our next target? I think that's him, boy. He, he ain't got the longest head in the world, but that gummy's thick. Like, raw. Bud's getting ready. I'm ready. Ha <laughs> ha 
This hill, this hill. No, I'm good. I just didn't you know. Oh! Oh, good. Yeah, I see him. Woo! Son! Now you holding it. Woo! Come on up here, baby. Oh, God. Woo! I think we got the boat, baby. Damn. We can tell where you had him now. God, here we go. Y'all remember to sit back on your ears. Little, little, little off of it. Oh! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Woo. Look at this dog! Oh, he's a turd! Yeah! <laughs> what a freaking dinosaur! <laughs> Thank you! Oh! Water. Sorry, a little water on the water. land! <laughs> <laughs> a little water on the land! Look at the little We got a fan! <laughs> Stuck down in the water, Johnny, man. Oh, he, he gotta go down. Woo! What a toad. Holy yes, smokes. Cheers, brother. Cheers, man. Boy, <laughs> that was another one. I mean, that was the first for us. Oh, and for sure, man. That boy. was a heck of an experience. Boy. I mean, I uh, we've heard about this a lot. Like, we hear the stories, heard the stories, sent, uh, sent my kids down there last year to do it. And these guys from God's Country Outfitters just put on a show. I mean, it was the best. And we we really didn't know what to expect. We've heard, they kind of told us a little bit about it, but I had no clue what we were fixing to get into. Man, oh, that was... no. And the people at God's Country Outfitters make this look so easy oh, and efficient. Yeah, they, they are the bee's knees yeah, of doing this. Yeah, they walk uh, you right through everything. Yeah. I mean, but- I Make mean, you feel comfortable with the process too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The, the coolest thing about all this, though, was I'm telling you, when they put the boats in and then we started putting the collar out there and all the alligators oh, came up. Man, that was the coolest thing. How Un, many, 15? Unreal. 15 on one spot. We had one 15. Spot. Then we looked around the other side and there was like 11. I mean, that yeah. was incredible. I mean, this is something that it's just, nobody would know this if they didn't come and experience it. You gotta come and see this. I mean, this is a once in a lifetime bucket list for us, for sure. So oh, yeah. it's, it is awesome. And, and Chuck D, man, thanks to him, he came here and his alligator was monster right out of the gate. Oh yeah. I mean, wham, we didn't know what to expect. And then Chuck barely hanging on and I'm thinking, oh my God, yeah. how's this gonna work? And I mean, he lands him. We was, uh, you know, we were both all, everybody's fired up after, after that one. We were all high-fiving. And then it just, and then we roll into mine, and it gets even better. <laughs> it does. So I'm thinking we're going to be here like all day. Oh, I know. We're done in two hours or something like that? Yeah. And I don't know how many alligators, how many do you think we might have saw? Maybe over hundreds. Yeah, yeah. Hundreds. I mean, I, I know how I many got is at least lake? 25, 30 on no, camera. It and was, that, did, that wouldn't even touch the surface. Oh, it, it was incredible, man. It what a great else. hunt. If, if you guys have not done this or have not seen this, you got to watch this. This is incredible. Mm -hmm. The power of those alligators, when you hook them and they take off running, I mean, it's like this truck. It's like one of these trucks taking off. <laughs> I know. I mean, you're just hanging on for dear life and you're just hoping it doesn't break, you know? So it, it was. Um, Everything times 100 that I expected, and I can't wait to do it again. I know. Have we even measured these guys yet? I don't know. That's I don't know. Twi it's two of me and you. That's for dang sure. <laughs> yeah. I can tell you that. So. Yeah, we'll measure it up, and we'll yeah. put it in the description. But no, absolutely. <laughs> Holy smokes. Yeah. It was good. And cheers for that, man. Cheers we, uh, for that. Thanks again for those guys. Today, we're going to, uh, we always do a, a bourbon tasting. So we are, uh, we're using a chicken cock. Everybody loves this brand because they love to say the word chicken cock. It's funny. Everybody laughs about it. But listen, this is one of the oldest uh, bourbons in history. I mean, it started in 1856. Uh, James Miller established the uh, the company in, in uh, Paris, Kentucky. And lo and behold, man, it made it through um, its hurdles. And then when Prohibition came, it actually shut down and then they moved the company to Canada. And um, the way it got its name, it was known as the Tin Can Whiskey because during the 1920s, during the Prohibition period, they were smuggling this whiskey back into the States in tin cans. As you can see right here, uh, one of our tin cans, that's what they actually smuggled the whiskey into the States with. And so they brought it into all these different uh, speakeasies and clubs that um, 
were kind of secretive about it and they brought these in there and that's how it actually got its name this one right here is um we've done some damage to this one yeah we were kind of <laughs> knocking that one out it's pretty good so this one is the uh the cotton club and so that is probably the most famous speakeasy that it went into uh louis armstrong all these jazz players played there and that was their whiskey of choice was this was the uh chicken cock and so you know it this thing has been around and it, it actually the the um the distillery burned in the 1950s and then I think down in, in 2016, another company brought it out, bought it back up, and um, brought it out in it. And again, it's I think it's barrel and grain or grain and barrel or something like that. Brought it back out, and it's been a hit ever since. But it's um, and we actually got the the um, the eight year too. That's uh, double oaked. So pretty cool story about it is so double oaked. It is actually finished in two different barrels. So. Uh, it's finished in used barrels. It starts out in used barrels and it's there for a few years. And then to be considered a actual true Kentucky bourbon, it has to be finished in a, a white oak barrel. And so a new white oak barrel. And so they move that whiskey from the used barrel to the new white oak barrel. And then therefore that's, uh, that's how it's got its name or that's why it's called double oaked. So anyway, kind of a cool thing, but man, we love chicken cock. It's a great, it's a great whiskey. It's a smooth whiskey, almost tastes like candy in a way. I mean, it's, it's not even right. You shouldn't, shouldn't serve it like that actually. So. <laughs> That's so. why the other one has so much damage. And, oh, exactly uh, You right. know, this one is coming up was, next. Yeah, we will have to knock that yeah, one out. We'll have to but. knock that one out, but <laughs> maybe when we get home, because we got to catch a flight today. Yeah, so. that's exactly right. Well, you guys, it, we, we uh, hope you guys tune in on this thing and, um, Try the whiskey out. Come to God's Country Outfitters, man. A great place. And, I mean, this is one of the most beautiful places you'll see. If you just come out here and experience some of this, it is, it'll... Uh, this is the Florida you think about. Exactly. I yep. mean, most people think beaches, but I think for hunters, this is the Florida you think about. Absolutely. And for yep. sure. And definitely look up God Country Outfitter. I mean, for sure. I mean, the the, the place was amazing, too, yep. where we stayed. The lodge, it yep. was great. It, it was, was good. For sure. Well, here, cheers, man, to another successful hunt. Absolutely. We appreciate it. You guys hang in there and stay tuned. Stay tuned.